So, general question for you guys, what makes a retro game, or where, where's the cutoff for a retro, what makes things retro? Hi everyone, I'm Ash. I'm Car Dreamer. I'm Ready to Play 5. And this is a discussion video about where's the line from modern gaming to retro gaming? Ready Player 5, can you answer this for us? Um, <laughs> I don't think I... <laughs> Put you on the spot. I don't think I'm qualified to answer this question. Sure well, you're not. Um, you're not qualified for a lot of things, but we're going to give you the path. That's the not wrong. <laughs> that being said, um, I was thinking about this the other day because now that um, I started shooting some videos playing retro games, I was talking to you guys earlier about about Zelda games, and I didn't know what because I wanted to play like older games. Right. And I didn't know which ones to choose, and we can have a conversation about that later. But... We're going to have that conversation later. Zelda's fantastic. Alright, that's <laughs> that's fine. But, um... I, I asked Card Dream at one point... <laughs> if, uh... What game was it? Like, A Link to the Past? Yeah. yeah. If, if that was retro... Oh, I asked him first what system it was on. And then I asked him if it was retro, and then we had a conversation about that. But... I would say, I mean, I would say there's like a year limit. I mean, let's say 20 years. Like, if it's older than 20 years old, then it's considered retro. But it probably would go more off of game systems. See, that, that's where it gets kind of interesting, because I personally think anything after 2000 is more modern in gaming. But I also feel like the, a lot of the games on the GameCube are retro because they are old at this point and kind of irrelevant. Well, when did the GameCube come out? 2003. Okay. Mm, GameCube? No. 2003 or 4 We'll probably should have looked up times for these. Older than that. Came out when I... That came out in 2000. I'm Googling it now! We should have looked up times for these. We're not thorough. It would be... 2001 at the latest. I don't think so. Okay, I, I, I was actually going to say around 2000. So, but while Ash proves why we're D-class and not prepared for these conversations... No, you're right, 2001. Uh, usually it happens, but I am right. This once. Card Dream is also a million and a half years old, so... Yes, he, he is dirt. It's true, now get off my lawn! <laughs> yeah, we've actually been Grandpa, having Grandpa, we're in the city, there is no lawn. <laughs> In my day, that weed would be considered law, and we'd be thankful. Okay, we're done. Uh, so that gag went on a lot longer than I expected. <laughs> it went on for five seconds. <laughs> yeah, a lot longer than I expected. Jesus, That's I want to go home. Said. I want to leave. <laughs> he regrets being inducted into D class. Now he's stuck here. It's true. Yeah, I'm sitting farthest away from the door. I couldn't leave if I wanted to. <laughs> But, um, True. It was a D class design. The exits were not accessible. <laughs> oh, that's not a D class design. That's an A class design. You designed it so I couldn't leave. That's a good design. So uh, I would say GameCube would be retro, in my opinion, because it, a lot of the games. It's 2018 now. It's been 17 years since the console's release. Now the GameCube had a decent lifespan, but in terms of quality, graphics, gameplay, and just a general selection of games. It, I feel like a lot of them would be considered retro, in my opinion. Like, where do you see the cutoff, CD? That's a tough one. Like, GameCube... The way it, it panned out graphically and what it could do, I feel like that was the big... Like, for Nintendo... That is the beginning of modern gaming. Because I can agree that's, that. when it, it, that's when it came into discs. And the graphics are still not bad, on certain, especially with certain games like Wind Waker, um, Wind Waker Rogue holds Squadron, up really Rogue well. Leader. Wind Waker held up real well. It did. And that's why, and, you know, Mario, um, Mario Sunshine. These games I hold, still like that one. They, they hold up, and I feel like they are they, they they're just they're the beginning of modern whereas 
perhaps other systems at its time may be considered re retro. What was the competitor? PS at that time, PS2 or... and Xbox. And one? P uh, no, well, not, not no, Xbox the original, One. The original, original Xbox. Xbox is what I meant to say. And I yeah, PS2 I almost consider retro, but not original Xbox for some reason. I can understand that because look at Halo. That was kind of like the top tier FPS at the time. Right. And, and While on like PlayStation 2, we still had Spyro, Crash Bandicoot, Ape Escape, stuff like that. But you had God of War. We also had God of War. And God of War is still phenomenal. So it, it's tough. It really is tough. Like, But then you have the clear cut systems. You know, you can go back to Atari, ColecoVision, and Television. Uh, How old are you? I actually grew up with a Nintelevision. That was my father's. Um, so he is a million and a half. Ha! <laughs> my dude, Intellivision was awesome. I don't care. So, but I mean, original Nintendo, Super Nintendo, Nintendo sixty four, and PlayStation one. I consider those retro. I, I feel like we all can agree that N sixty four and prior are all retro. Or would you say anything non-disc, uh, like CD disc based, is retro? I I think anything that's non-disc based is retro, just for the fact that. So would PlayStation One be retro given what it did? PlayStation One? Yeah. Tough call. Do you want the Wikipedia definition? No. I Wikipedia mean, is editable go by any old D class. Go one. for it. I mean, it makes sense reading it. Go for it. I want to hear this. Retro gaming, also known as classic gaming and old school gaming, is the playing of playing or collecting of older personal computer, console, and arcade video games used in contemporary times. Usually, retro gaming is based upon systems that are obsolete or discontinued. Now, saying that, see right there. Now, some could argue that <laughs> some systems now are obsolete. <laughs> I look at Xbox One. Hey, I mean, I, I obviously there's no officiality to this because it is Wikipedia, but I don't know if. No, but the description itself... Have game itself, companies, like, released their opinion on what retro gaming surprisingly is? Surprisingly enough, not too many. Yeah, pretty much anything. They consider anything... If it's a viable... Prior market, to the current gen, I mean... It just <laughs> consider it old. I mean, that's they the way they that. treat it, because look at Sony and their inability to want to do backwards compatibility, except for their PlayStation Now. That still pisses me off so much. Where I was so Xbox, upset when I got a PS4, and I couldn't get my old PS3 games onto it. Xbox treats, I feel, does treat their older system, 360, the original, as retro, but they openly embrace it with their backwards compatibility. And that's fine to me. A uh, big thing is, I love retro games. I still have to go back and play, like, Ocarina of Time, Majora's Mask. First Smash, and then I look like now, I was like, I want to play new Smash, because old Smash just looks bad and hurts my eyes. Uh... Oh, Star Fox, way back when, Kirby, Mega Man, Castlevania, Metroid, all that stuff are pretty much the first things that come to mind when you think of retro. Like they, they are. And But I could go further back, because I used to play DOS games. You also used to play Pong. No. Air Hockey. Pong I is played, a solid game. It's a solid game. I played Air Hockey, that was before we had electronics. Air hockey is also a solid game. Air hockey is awesome. Oh, player one five loves air hockey. One of these days, we're going to have to go somewhere and play physical games. I'm for it. What are those? <laughs> you just said air hockey. <laughs> yeah, but that was back in my Chuck E. Cheese days. There's nothing wrong with going to Chuck E. Cheese now. No, there is. No, there, just uh, we'll destroy some there kids. There are so many things wrong with going to Chuck E. So, Cheese now. First off, emotionally scarring kids. Secondly, Five Nights at Freddy's. Third of all, you're how old going to Chuck E. Cheese? Is we <laughs> could easily lie and say that's what Dave and Buster's are for. Some... For those in denial about no, their age and still want to go to that's Chuck fine. E. Cheese, <laughs> we'll go somewhere. This is uh, not brought to you by Dave and Buster's. It really is. <laughs> What's going on right here? But um, five. What do you think is retro? I know we asked you this before, but like after reading the definition and hearing us talk for a bit, what do you think? I mean, honestly, I was just going to let you guys talk about it. Um, I don't really know how many... Easy. <laughs> Seriously. Look, damn it. You guys have more experience with games. That's why I'm doing videos t talking about super old games. Uh, talking about super old games. 
because I don't know these things. You're the one who started the discussion. You're going to I just had a question. I was hoping you guys could answer it, but you guys are giving me terrible answers. D class. You came to D class and wanted an expert. Well, opinion. who else am I going to talk to about it? Who, how about anybody knowledgeable? Uh, someone Both of you. Someone, I assumed. I would say someone. That's your first problem. What are you when you assume? Uh, I would Shut say up. someone competent is a good person to go ask. I'm tired of you. <laughs> <laughs> But in your thoughts, like, do you think it's a time range, or do you think it's like, like old old school games? Yeah, I mean, like even even after doing the definition, I I still would consider it to be a time based thing. Time based. Well, it, you have to be because there's gonna in yeah, like fifty years from now, like, year, like PS3 yeah, these is gonna games be retro, are gonna be. Like, the amazing thing is just how fast yeah, video gaming know. as a whole has grown and evolved as a form of entertainment. Because look at 1990 and 2000. Look at the vast gap in terms of technological advancement just for gaming alone. Sure. Yeah, that's true. We go from pixel-based stuff to polygons and 3D and stuff like that. And honestly, that's where it kind of gets blurry for what is considered retro. Yeah, you can still say, like, Super Smash Bros. for the N64 is retro. I consider it is. Because it's very choppy, very old, and one of the earliest forms of 3D gaming. But Still I don't better than Brawl. Yeah, I enjoy Brawl. There's really not a Smash game I don't enjoy. That's true. But overall, it's just it really is a time-based thing. Because I guarantee, in like you know, ten years, everything from like I want to say. PS3 and down, Xbox 360, which I consider retro at this point also, are going to be definitely considered retro. I can't consider the 360 or PS3 retro when it only was, what, in the last year or so that they stopped making games for it? So do you think the games being cut off and not being produced anymore it plays a factor in that? If they're still making games, it can't. I don't care how long how long the the lifespan of the system was. If they still made a game for it, it's not dead. Sure. Okay. If there's an official, let me rephrase it. If there's an official licensed game for it, because yes, you have modern day homebrews and hacks that are being that people themselves put on the cartridges. But those are fans just doing what fans do and just showing like their yeah, which is why that's stuff. that's disqualifying. They're actually. Yeah. But there is also the exception to that rule where, look at Capcom and their anniversary for Street Fighter. They made, what, like the whole 10,000 run or whatever it was for their Street Fighter 2 anniversary. They, they made a new cartridge for the Super Nintendo. It was ridiculously yeah, priced. What do you expect? Capcom's going to try and get any kind of money they can. It's true. It's true. Capcom still makes me angry. Still love a lot of their titles. But their practices piss me off still. You guys know my feelings about Capcom. It's true. DLC on the disc. I miss those good old days. We don't get, we don't get anything like that anymore, which is sad. What DLC on the disc? Yeah. Why is that sad? I, I hated it. You it was on the disc that you paid money for, and you had to pay more well, money to unlock it. Well, I should have said it like this: unlockables on the disc. Yeah. That definitely would define a, a retro game. Mm -hmm. Like, Smash is a great example because you still had to unlock a lot of those characters by going through a campaign and doing certain requirements. We're, uh, so what Soul about... Calibur? What about Soul Calibur? Did you unlock characters in that? I, I didn't play Soul Calibur uh, that often. Did you? I... I know aside from, like, I want to say no. Yeah, I don't think yeah. you did. I said, aside from like the special characters, like uh, you know the uh, console exclusives, like Yoda, Darth Vader, like I mean, you didn't stuff. unlock them. No, they were already on there. Yeah, it was a system exclusive. Now, but now how do you take into consideration when you look at modern indie games that are retro in style? They're all 16-bit, 8-bit pixelated, and that's where it gets blurry. I mean, I think it's just a retro-style video game. I don't think it. That's that's why they tackle the word style. But that's my point. It's a retro style game, so why is the style pixelated? It's the style. Like it's the style. Well, I don't understand. This, so you're saying anything that was, th like, God of War, God of War Two, they can't be retro because they're not pixelated. I'm not saying that. The, like, but the, you just said the game when, it, like, I'm the year when the game came out is the year that the game came out. 
Yeah. It doesn't matter what the art style of the game is. But it, it does, because some of them advertise themselves as a retro style, and their style is pixelated. I don't understand why the style makes it... Because why is every retro game that advertises themselves as retro pixelated? Instead they didn't have of, the money or the can't... technology to do more? A lot of... In Cop the... out! A lot of... <laughs> That's a valid excuse. First off, a lot of indie titles need to go to, you know, Kickstarter or some kind of third party or fund themselves in order to even make what they can make. One of my favorite games is Iconoclast, and that was made by Bifrost. They are not a big company. Fair. Now, I do think funds play a big part of it, but do you limit Retro to... Like AAA named titles, or do you attribute it to just games in general? Now, I do think some games in general are retro, and I think, like. But the big ones that come to mind are, like, Nintendo. I mean, I don't think you can limit it to. No, you top can't. quality games, like, it's whatever. It's... I agree. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying it's, like, usually what people think of first when you think indie. T uh, think of retro games is sure. a big title no, look, in that time period. Few people are as deep in the video game rabbit hole as you guys are. I can name a few people, but uh, I said a few yet. people. I can, yeah, I can name a few channels that would be even be really I said a few people. Well, I'm sorry, your definition of few is way underwhelming. We're D class. We're always underwhelming. That's true. One of these days, we're not gonna hate ourselves. One of these days, we're gonna be competent. I didn't say I hated myself. Wait a minute. <laughs> Self-deprecating. Self is not a positive quality to have. So I never said it was positive either. <laughs> just yes, that, that's, what that's, that's what I'm saying. Uh, D, what's that D stand for? Discrepancy. <laughs> so just so you all know, uh, Player Five is kind of our conscience at this point. I mean, and we're slowly. I can't. It. I couldn't possibly be worse, be worse than either of you two if I tried. That's, so I gotta go. That means I have to go the other way with it. I'm comfortable with myself enough to admit that you're right. <laughs> that makes me uncomfortable, though. <laughs> and that's the thing. And here you have it. Mission plan. accomplished. Yep. Uh, All right, so I think that's a good place to stop. Um, so in the comments below, everyone, tell us, what do you think contributes to something being a retro game? Or retro game as a whole, is it, is, is it a date thing when the thing was released? Is it discontinued? Is it a style? Let us know in the comments. Let and us know what your favorite retro game is. That also. And, if I may tack on, do you consider indie titles that are retro style retro games? No. They're, I'm so asking the audience, bring, sir. Even bring it up oh, well, the audience isn't allowed to answer. Why did you even bring, it up, oh, well, why bring it up earlier, then? If you didn't think that they were. Why did you grill me about it? You dick. <laughs> because that wasn't what I asked you about. It is. No, I asked you to think about why is their, the company's interpretation of retro pixelated is what I was getting at. Why is it they didn't do a 3D or a 2.5D game and call it retro? Why is their the video then? Yeah, that, that's what I was trying to get at. Why is all the re game companies that today that make retro games all pixelated. Why is that their impression? I got the answer. I got the answer. That's what the public opinion Nostalgia. Is, gaming is? Nostalgia is what I tell you it is. No. Yes, it is. So your main role is dirt, though. We already knew that. It's just fun to remind him. That is fun. Keep it up. I, I, will, I know where you guys live, and I know how to get a hold of a little CD. Alright, oh, <laughs> I'm Ready Player 5. <laughs> I'm Ash. I'm Card Dreamer. God help us. Yeah, that's, that's, that's a good Also, please like, subscribe, comment below. Uh, catch you guys later. See ya. Bye.